All right, everyone, this is Minoxin bringing you another high-definition commentary of Heroes of New Earth. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Hey, it's Minoxin, and yeah, I am bringing you high-definition commentary of Heroes of New Earth, but uh, I'm going to do it my way, so <laughs> always thought it, I always do that when I'm playing around with the other people that I'm co-casting with, but I'm going to get this thing started, and, and these guys had remade this game, so they all know what they're picking already, so this is going to go pretty quickly, so I won't have time to much explain it, so I don't know who the bands were the first time, but... This is a scrim between uh, former Clan Loaded and, you know, uh, B-Kid, of course, is General General D there on his other account. Uh, but we've got... Uh, uh, how do I do this? Okay. Uh, <laughs> the, anyways, it is, it is between uh, Loaded, or Evil Geniuses now, and SK Gaming. So, should be a fun game here. We're in for quite the show, I would imagine. Um, don't know too much about the stats on it. I was just one. I was looking through replays. You guys need to send me some more replays, by the way. Send them to minoxin at gmail.com, or um, you know, send them, send me comments at YouTube or something like that. Just let me know uh, some good matches to commentate. And I am by myself today, so hopefully I do a pretty good job for you all. And um, let's see, we are looking at uh, Chew on Pebbles, uh, Be Kid on Behemoth. Oh, so that's gonna be deadly. Uh, we've got my cat yelling in the background because he wants me to play fetch with him. Uh, Flint Beastwood, Glacius, Hellbringer, uh, making out the Legion team there. So we're looking at, hmm, they got a, definitely a really good hard carry. If you all watched the, um, the game where I had Chew on Mage Bay and he ended up going up against a, a Flint Beastwood there and it really showed how powerful Flint Beastwood can be even against the, you know, some of the best farm in the game. So... Uh, Flint is definitely a really, really powerful uh, hard carry, especially if you can get that Frostwolf Skull, get his Geometer's Bane. But, you know, you're also looking at uh, Swift Blade, uh, Forsaken Archer's kind of a semi, and uh, Wretched Hag here as well. Oh, and I uh, didn't notice that, or I didn't pay attention to it, but this is uh, Angry Testy is going to be in this uh, match here as well. So it is another Angry Testy versus Chew uh, in the Battle of the Wills. I think the last game that Angry Testy played that I saw was on the 29th, so he's taking a couple days off at least. But uh, hopefully he's not gone for good, and we'll just have to see what we got going. But we have um, Flint Beastwood here, and uh, Behemoth going to be joining him top, and Glacius, oh, they're going for a tri-lane. Uh, that's what I get for paying attention. Uh, but yeah, they are going for a tri-lane top, and that's going to be going up against Witch Slayer and Swiftblade, so that's probably not going to be working too great for this uh, Hellborn side here, going up against the tri-lane with the two. But uh, I guess it's a lot better than just sending someone solo to get screwed, but we'll just have to see. And Forsaken uh, down here with Magmus. And oh, okay, there's Pebbles. I was going to say, and they are up against nobody? Question mark. Uh, but yeah, we've got Forsaken Archer and Magmus down here pulling off the two versus one on this uh, Chew on Pebbles, which is very good because you do not want Chew to get uh, out of hand on Pebbles because he is just crazy with Pebbles. So they are keeping him down uh, quite effectively here as Magmus is just basically playing the bouncer to this uh, exclusive creep club here as uh, looks like Pebbles is so desperate to try and get in through the door. He's getting some experience though. He's just loving a little bit. Staying within experience range, that's important. And speaking about staying in experience range, these guys up top here are having a little bit of a hard time of it. It looks like they're taking some early damage here. As the, a lot of pressure coming out from the top here with, you know, Glacius with his slow and imprisonment. I don't know if he has his both. Yeah, he just has his slow right now. He's still level 1. Uh, Behemoth, you know, of course has his Fisher stun. And Flint going for the uh, early magic damage uh, explosive flare to go ahead and try and pick off some creeps there. And bottom lane, who do we have duking it out down here? We've got Hellbringer and Wretched Hag. Um, just gonna probably, I don't know, such massive amounts of magic damage can be dished out by Wretched Hag, but that poison and the, the life void are so powerful for Hellbringer. I'm not sure really who to give it there. I guess we'll just have to keep an eye on the stats down there and see what actually transpires. And, oh, I need to cover the ward situation too. Uh, Beat is throwing the, the ward out here to give them some advance notice of whenever they're gonna get ganked on here by this uh, tri-lane. And even though they're aware of it, he's Swiftblade's playing up here, trying to make sure he gets some last hits. But uh, doesn't look like they're going to be able to all oh, the harass. It's just so bad. Uh, and then we've got uh, Ward of Sight coming out here uh, as the counter ward coming out from that Glacius. So that's a nicely placed ward. And my cat's still in the background. Sorry. Um, blah, blah, blah. As I'm going to try and find something else to look at. Wow, his meow is very loud. There's the other pair of wards sitting up here. 
camping it out. Yeah, and I'm surprised with his, you know, him getting the wards that he did. The, um, well, I guess they didn't know they were going against this tri lane necessarily. But, you know, you're looking at some of these games that I've seen. I think it was actually SK was the one that I remember seeing do it. Um, and they actually bought Ward of Re Revelation there to begin with to reveal the counter, to reveal the ward. Now, they'd have to have something to give them sight there, which would be a bit of a problem. But you could throw down the counter ward, and Wretched Hag's going to get Hellbringer and escape nicely there because the creeps don't have as much AI. Oh, man. Well, she's taking quite a bit of damage there still yet, even after eating that tree. If she hadn't eaten that tree, she'd probably drop down to 20 or lower, possibly. So, she looks like she's getting the early advantage there on Hellbringer. Oh, we've got Witch Slayer getting caught out down here, but Glacius now being the one caught out as, uh, looks like, oh, yep. I think Behemoth's stun there might have delayed Glacius' attempts to escape. So, that's a little unfortunate there, as that kind of turns around the, the situation we've got up here, is, you know, getting that early hero kill is definitely going to help uh, Trafalmador on that uh, swift blade to be able to pick up his farm and you know flint what is flint doing 18 and 6 versus trophimor 7 and 1 so he's definitely winning the creep score i mean that's not too difficult on flint versus a ranged carry or a <laughs> melee carry and chu how you doing here chu oh man 5 and 0 and we have got probably forsaken archer just out of control angry Tessie, 20 and 7 21 and 7 <laughs> soon to be even more so, yes, middle is being won by the Hellborn, top is being won by the Legion, and, ooh, we got someone going to run into each other here, and Pebble's desperately grabbing that rune as he really needed that, so he's got the double damage now, and Magnus is going to give him a hard time of it, but uh, Chews goes ahead and uses the double damage and socks Magnus in the face, and uh, I guess Magnus, you know, since it was the Battle of the Elementals that, you know, Magnus just decided that, you know, Earth has always held the volcanic forces underneath of it, so he probably ought to get out of there before Pebbles gets all high and mighty on him and, you know, shoves him beneath the, uh, beneath him, I guess. How would that work? He's an earth elemental, so... Oh, well, I'm blabbing. And bottom, we got more harassment coming out onto this Hellbringer. He is just not having too much luck down here. Let's go ahead and continue looking here. He's 10 and 7, popping the health potion now to try and maintain himself in this lane. Uh, 9 and 1, though, so... Actually, Hellbringer, besides his death, has been doing quite well down here. He's gotten quite a few denies versus, you know, Wretched Hags. She's 11 and 1, sure, but you're looking at 10 and 7. So he's got a few more denies, and that's going to help him out on experience. But, you know, she did get the hero kill, so she's probably even higher. Nope, she's about the same level so far. I need to get that little mod that'll show you the experience around their little thingy here. I've seen that on, uh, what is that? Uh, Honcast, I think they have that. Or Breaky does, at least. I don't know if all of them do but need to get that. That will be really nice. Be able to see how far into the uh, levels these folks are. And there's still not much action as it's 0 to 2 in favor of the Hellborn. Uh, a swift blade gonna eat a little bit of the flare there, but nothing too terrible that he can't recover from. Wish Slayer actually doing a, a pretty good job up here it looks like as he's um, you know, I mean it is 2 versus 3 so you're kinda you get out there you're gonna be in a heap of trouble. But he seems to be doing an alright job. Let's see what the stats say. Or is Manax Manaxin just full of it? <laughs> uh, that's what I sound like when I have a Boston accent, apparently. Uh, 31 and 10 for Flint. And... Beat is sitting at 2 and 3. So, not fantabulous, but mostly when you're a support up here, you're just trying to help harass. You're trying to... What the hell are these guys up to? They are just sitting way back. Is that because... Oh, yeah, these two guys are off the map. So they're like, uh. No, they got a ward here. They saw him. What are they? What are they up to? Going into the woods to make out, probably. Look at those guys. Yep, that's be that'd be my guess. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry. It's early in the morning here, and I'm just kind of all hyped up. Not really sure why. And wow, we've got a pretty good group of stunner slower stuff here, and they're going to probably run in and take. I'm uh, eh. For a second, it would be the great one to take out. I don't know if they're going to manage to get her. Oh, and here we go. Oh, but nice reaction time coming out from Magnus as he does get the stun back there onto Chu before Chu can finish off his combination. I don't know that it would have been enough to have finished Forsaken Archer, but uh, that nice, nice reaction coming from... Who should I give credit? Cardinal. Cardinal doing a, a very good job there, having a great reaction time. I mean, you know, you had... 
behemoth come in from the side here as a distraction, but yet he was the one to see Chu come in from behind, maybe because he was looking for his escape route, and he's like, oh crap, oh wait, here's someone, so maybe I ought to help. But no, I'll give I'll give Cardinal more credit than that. Uh, yeah, just really good reaction time, so spotting him. Oh, and he's going to run into trouble. Oh, but he's going to steam bath, and now he's probably going to get stomped out of it, maybe? I don't know. There we go. I was wondering why he was holding off on that. Maybe it was... Oh, it was on cooldown. And... Oh, and Magmus. There wasn't a rune there. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh. Sleepy Minoxin is sleepy. Wretched hag here. What do we... Whoa. I heard... Oh, there. I was going to say I heard Malphus die. Oh, to purge creeps nonetheless. I bet that sucks. Uh, actually, I don't know. Do the purge creeps in there do damage to Malphus? So oh, Swiftblade with the rundown. Swiftblade actually having a pretty good game so far. I mean, wow, he's picked up his uh, farm substantially, too. Where are you going? There you are. Um, yeah, he's picked up a lot. He's 27 and 9. He's got two hero kills. He's up to 254 gold per minute. Still behind Wretched Hag, but I mean, hey. You know what? Oh, and Chew. Poor Chew. He's going to get picked up. No, he doesn't get picked up by Swiftblade. One more auto attack would have done it, as they say. And now Swiftblade's actually on the run. And uh, he's going to go ahead and spin there to dodge the uh, behemoth Fisher. And, oh, unfortunately, um, purple. Sabuska. Oh, I didn't realize it was Sabuska playing on Flint. So that should be fun. But we've got Flint playing this Sabuska. And unfortunately, since they did not have vision, uh, he just threw out a blind. Wait a minute. You guys should have vision. No. Yeah. I think. Or that's new. I don't know. I'm just off my game today, guys, so I'm sorry about that, but, uh... Always looking forward to seeing a nice game like this with Load and SK. Oh, and I got done playing some, um... Oh, uh, what was it? It was, a, uh, It was like a quiz that was in the lobby. And we've got Witch Slayer and, uh, Wretched Hag can open up onto this Hellbringer, the uh, Graveyard. Oh, and the Ultimate from Wretched Hag even being pulled out to go ahead and ensure the kill. Uh, but unfortunately, Witch Slayer picked up the kill, but um, I'm sure Wretched doesn't matter, doesn't care too terribly much since, you know, hey, Hellbringer's dead. And now Cardinal is too. And there's that Sabuska running around, all menacing-like. Magmas. Cardinal says that he's a noob. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm sure it was probably an honest mistake, as we all have. Well, probably me more than others, but... Because I am a noob. Oh, we've got... Oh! <laughs> he was trying to get that... Oh, and the horrible juke attempt going on here. Poor B-Kid going to get taken down. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that was... I, I guess he saw him coming down and around, and he thought he was just going to loop in there, so he threw up the Fisher Stun to try and block him off, but just didn't work because uh, Swiftblade had vision of him for the majority of that time. Bunch of support coming in middle here to go ahead and try and uh, continue the chase down. Oh, they do catch Glad uh, Glacius, Gladius, is, uh, Glacius there, and he's going to go down to Forsaken Archer, but Magmus may be joining him. No! Unfortunately, Flint was not able to... Where is Flint at? He probably had close to his ultimate. How much does a man difference? Eh, it was close. No, he wouldn't have had enough for it. But uh, if he could have gotten that ultimate off, that would have been real handy. Okay, okay, let's get uh, back on track here. We got Chu running around with the Blood Chalice. This is the... No, this is the old Blood Chalice. This is from the 29th, so it's still Imba. And I have not tried the new Blood Chalice yet, so I don't know exactly how it's supposed to pan out, but you guys can leave in the comments or something what you think of it, if they nerfed it, you know, too hard, if they nerfed it hard enough. I mean, obviously it was a game changer. Obviously it was OP, so... It just depends on how much, you know, they needed to nerf it. And I'm kind of disappointed in this most recent patch. But, uh, you know, Balfagor's not in this game. But they, they nerfed Balfagor pretty hard. And he probably deserved some of it. But I think Blood Chalice was a big reason behind, you know, his Imbaness that Fuji Apple seemed to display there. Swiftblade doing a double stack creep camp here. And he's going to get every single one of them nicely done. And, uh-oh. Uh, headshot. Apparently, as, uh, yeah, Wretched Hag got caught there and took a bunch of damage. Uh, we got Pebbles running around. What is Pebbles running around doing? Uh-oh. Uh, Magmus, he's gonna be able to stun out of here if he so chooses. No, maybe he's not. 